why international organisations could be filling Central West skies with dangerous chemicals. Opponents of these mysterious chemtrails, which have been appearing over Dubbo and other Central West centres, argue science is being perverted to change local weather patterns and keep Australia in drought. These weirdly shaped vapour trails above Dubbo make curious patterns, but concerns tonight it could signal a systematic poisoning of the skies above western New South Wales. Jet planes often leave contrails, but these vapour trails aren't on any recognised flight paths, and they run closely parallel and cross over in gigantic X shapes, forming giant grid patterns across the sky. And it's not just Dubbo, these are happening worldwide. There's a growing belief the chemtrails, as they're known, are part of a secret international strategy to inject fine particles into the upper atmosphere to reflect sunlight back into space and prevent global warming. This is a disgrace that our government is allowing the US to spray barium, um, aluminium and all sorts of toxic aerosol chemicals under the banner of repelling sunlight. Critics equate the program to the 1950s radioactivity experiments using human guinea pigs. They're also dismissing reports of a seasonal link between a spike in the number of the sky trails and the end of the first quarter of the year. The public deserve to know that these contrails have health implications, right? Let alone their disorganised weather patterns leading to less rainfall, much like bare paddocks with dead biology won't attract rain like a living pasture will.